Android system web v1 update error is one of the irritating issues that a lot of Android users occasionally experience. This video is for you if you're encountering this issue and are unsure of how to resolve it. These are the fixes you need to make if you can't update the Android system web view app or other essential Google apps because the Android system web view isn't upgrading by itself. Any Google or Android system app that is having trouble should be restarted for you to start resolving the problem. To do so, go to the app's information page and choose the force stop option. Open settings app. Tap apps. Tap the filter button and select all. Make sure that you also enable the show system apps option. Find the Android system web view app and tap it. Tap force stop. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that you restart your Android phone or tablet if resetting the Android system web view is ineffective by simulating the process that occurs when the battery is removed. This restart seeks to clean the system. To achieve this, just press and hold the power and volume down keys at the same time for around 10 seconds. Refreshing the cache and data for the app is your next step if the Android system web view won't update problem still exists. Most of the time, it is successful in fixing small problems caused by damaged temporary or cache files. You may do this without having to worry about losing any of the user data that the app saves. Open settings app. Tap apps. Tap the filter button and select all. Make sure that you also enable the show system apps option. Find the Android system web view app and tap it. Tap storage. Tap the clear cache button. Restart the device and check for the problem. If clearing the cache won't work, try to delete the app's data next. Uninstalling it is another efficient method for resolving the Android system web view won't update problem. After you reinstall the app, this should require your Android device to stop all activities linked to the Android system web view app, which should resolve the issue. You must look for the Android system web view app in the Google Play Store in order to delete it. Once you locate the Android system web view app, you should be able to press the uninstall option. Reinstall the Android system web view app after that, then check for issues. Next thing you may do is to troubleshoot your internet connection if removing the Android system web view did not solve the issue. Fast data would be useful if you wanted to update things to the Play Store. You should do a speed test on your device to check the internet connection to make sure you have a pleasant online experience. You are curious about the normality of your download speed. Your updates may be taking a long time if the download speed is very sluggish, say less than 3 Mbps. Having the most recent version of anything can occasionally be harmful. Even if having updates installed is often a strongly advised remedy for several faults and problems. For instance, the most recent version of the Google Play Store app may occasionally be to blame for Google related and system program issues. You may really remove the aforementioned updates to see whether they are the primary cause of the Android system web view won't update problem. If your Android phone tries to download and install updates for both third-party apps and key Google programs like Android System WebView, Google Play Services, and Google Play Store, updates may occasionally become stuck. You may think about turning off the Auto Update Applications option so that the system just downloads and installs things one at a time. go around your device's automatic update system, you can upgrade Android system web view with an APK file. What you must do is as follows. Open the settings app. Select apps. Select your mobile browser such as Chrome. Select the install unknown apps option. Activate the allow from this source option. Open your web browser such as Chrome and go to apkmirror.com. Using the browser on your device, go to the APK Mirror website and search for the APK for Android System Web View.
you may get a message warning that this type of file can harm your device. Simply ignore it and select OK. Open the APK you downloaded and install it. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.